the Global Council for Tolerance and Peace held the first procedural session of the International Parliament for Tolerance and Peace in the main hall of the Maltese Parliament in Valletta at the invitation of the Speaker of the House of Representatives of Malta, Mr. Angelo Farruccia, and the President of the Global Council for Tolerance and Peace, Mr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Jarwan, and the presence of 54 heads and representatives of regional and national parliaments from around the world. His Excellency Farruja opened the session by welcoming the participants to Valletta, the European capital of culture 2018, emphasizing Malta's absolute support for the international parliament. In his speech, Al Jarwan stressed that all efforts should be exerted to establish an international parliament that will be motivated only by the will and enthusiasm of its members to serve the causes of tolerance and peace. His Excellency Elias Castillo, President of the Latin American Parliament, affirmed that they are very pleased with the existence of this international parliament for tolerance and peace, especially in the light of the world's conflicts. On behalf of a delegation of 15 parliamentarians from all over Africa, President of the Pan-African Parliament, Roger Nkodo, encouraged this global initiative congratulating the Global Council for Tolerance and Peace on its various peace efforts in the world. For his part, Malta's Foreign Minister Carmelo Abella stressed the importance of launching this international parliament, especially that these global challenges can only be met through cooperation. Deputy Prime Minister of Malta, Chris Fernie, President of the Parliament of Mauritius, Santi Bey Hanumanji, and President of the National Assembly of Senegal, Mustafa Nyasse, all delivered a speech in which they affirmed their country's absolute support for the International Parliament for Tolerance and Peace. Chadian parliamentarian Saleh Kebzabu, as the oldest member, handed over the presidency of the International Parliament to the state of Albania according to the alphabetical order of the names of the member states. Therefore, Mr. Tolant Bella was appointed president for one year. In addition, five executive committees were established, legal and legislative affairs, international relations, youth and women, peace instilling and sustainable development. Al Jarwan and Farouja held a joint press conference in which they talked about the participation of all these countries, which confirms the international interest in cooperation to put an end to terrorism, violence, extremism, racism, hatred and rejection of the other, stressing the importance of the role of the media in spreading the culture of tolerance and peace.